Kayala, Yin Kayala, Baglan Baglan. My name is Max Dillon, Kulpe Giram and Galing Kulpe Mary Nurnakul. I'd like to um, propose something to you and let you be the judge. On the Gold Coast, we enjoy salt water connections along the coastline to the Bunjalung speaking people in the south and to the north, Jandai or Jandawal, Kwandamuka people. We are more closely connected with these coastline languages and they are a major part of our vernacular. To the west, Tambourine Mountain over the other side, Bay Desert, uh, Rathdowney, all these places. Now, the origin of the Yugambeh language is the upper reaches of the Albert and Logan River. They're a freshwater language. This is Mickenberry and Bow Desert area. So, on the Gold Coast, we speak saltwater languages with our connections along the coast. Over the mountain, they're speaking freshwater languages and the cutoff is somewhere around Tambourine because they don't have the same type of country, the same animal and plant life, the same ecosystems. Therefore, they don't speak the languages that we speak. They're a secondary language for them and their language is a secondary or third language for us. Now remember, they come from the upper reaches of the Albert and Logan River, freshwater languages. Have you heard of middens? Middens were made by saltwater peoples to appease the spirits of the sea, but also they were made to show our respect and promote through a spirit of ecology for returning season of abundance. Very much a saltwater coastline thing, you know? So, there's no middens on Tambourine. There's no middens on Mickenberry country. There's no middens in Bow Desert. They don't share that dreaming with us. Not the same people. And all those little shells and all the life that was teeming in abundance, all with individual names and our language dialects and all along the coastline with language that we shared with Stradbroke Island, Kwandamooka and Bunjalung. We shared all that language. West, they did not. They did not share that language or that dreaming. What about dolphin, guando, buangan? Do they have dolphins? in west of Tambourine? No, they don't. They don't share that dreaming with us. We share that with Kwandamooka, we share that with Mijinbo, and we share that along the coastline. That dreaming is a salt water dreaming, not a fresh water dreaming, not the same people. What about sea eagles? Well, I was told recently that they're not a common occurrence, but yes, there is a sea eagle, a white belly sea eagle, a Mary Gimpa, in Bow Desert. Not very common. Just like wedge tails are not a common occurrence on the Gold Coast. What about Jungan? Jugon? No, they don't share that either. That's dreaming, saltwater dreaming along the coastline. They don't share that resource with us either. What about Bubaye, turtle? Sorry, they don't share that either. They're not saltwater people. Therefore, they don't speak the language that we speak. It's not like they're up there speaking about saltwater things all the time, you know? It's a secondary or third language even for them. But for us, that's common. That's our language. That's what we speak. When I was a young fella, Ujuru Nunakul told me that when Jeriba, North Stradbroke, was connected all the way along by land to the Gold Coast. In 1894, the Canvas Wallace was a ship, the shipwreck where the jumping pin is now, and it was detonated. Explosive TNT blew up, separated the two islands. 
had now become north and south. Sometime earlier than that, it was after settlement, colonization, there was a, a massive swell, a massive storm, and out punched a hole that created what we know to be the spit, the, the seaway now. And that was kept open some time later by erecting a, a large seawall and a sand pumping jetty to, to make sure that South Stradbroke um, remained open from the mainland. But once, it was a continuous land bridge from Southport all the way across Mundarawa, Mundarawa, Minjeriba, place of sand flies, mosquitoes, same language, different dialects. The only thing that we don't share with Kwandamooka down on the Gold Coast is Quampies. Everything else is the same. All the fish species in abundance, all the wildlife, all the plants in abundance, everything that's teeming with life. The thing that we have on the Gold Coast that nobody else has, that's our dreaming, is Jabberines bee. It's endemic to the Gold Coast, Tetragonula davenporti. It's not shared with anyone else except for our country. And if you steal a people's dreaming, you're robbing them of their identity and causing them harm. So we don't like it when we hear people, Springbrook and Raf Downey and Bow Desert and these places claiming Jabrin, that's localised spiritual culture. That story and that dreaming is localised. It belongs to the Kumamari people. If you were to look at all the minerals, looking at North Stradbroke, with the cross section, with Con Rudol, all the way down across the coastline, all the way down to Tweed, with Kujanar Z. The minerals tell a story. Different amount of deposits, but the minerals are the same. They share a commonality. If they don't share the same minerals, Raft Downey, Bow Desert, Springbrook, Mount Tambourine. Further west, Yugambeh, they don't share these minerals. The cross section tells a different story.